Cycling is booming and we're seeing plenty of bums on saddles, but when you first get into the sport, the whole world of Lycra can seem very bamboozling. We've borrowed guinea pig Paul for the day to show everybody how to dress like a cyclist. So let's start at the very top with the helmet. This is actually a really good choice, so there's nothing wrong with your choice of helmet. It's got high visibility factors, but the problem is how you're wearing it. The retention system with the straps is far too loose and the positioning is way too far back on your head. So of course, in the event of a crash, it's not gonna sit where it should in order to make you as safe as possible. So hand it over and we're gonna make some adjustments. Now shove that a little bit further forward. Next up, we're gonna look at eyewear. And casual glasses are fine, but it's far better and easier to get a, a good range of vision and peripheral vision when you're out on the bike, especially in traffic, if you've got cycling-specific glasses. So I'm gonna recommend that Paul switches. So it's away with these and in with the cycling specifics. Now moving down the body, let's address the t-shirt. Paul, there's nothing wrong with it, love the t-shirt. However, it's not a technical garment, so it's not actually gonna draw sweat away from the skin and it won't do much to regulate your temperature. So I'd always recommend something that's a little bit more cycling specific. So I'm gonna switch this for a cycling jersey. Especially here in the UK, we're very used to changing weather conditions. So a very versatile item that you can add to your cycling wardrobe is a set of arm warmers. They'll stave off the chill and complement a jersey really well. So I'm gonna recommend that Paul tries a pair of these. You've got pretty baggy shorts on there and I'm gonna hazard a guess that they don't actually have a chamois in them. It's supposed to be worn directly against your skin and it will keep you comfortable in that all important contact point. So I'm gonna say ditch the baggy shorts and bring in the bib shorts. Now we're gonna address that leg hair a little bit later but I have to pick up on the socks Rugby or football socks are a real no-no on the bike and mostly because they just don't really make you look the part. So I'm gonna switch these for a pair of cycling specific socks. And finally, there's nothing wrong with wearing trainers when you're first getting into cycling, but as you progress, you might want to look at cleats that clip directly into your pedal. This can really help with power transfer so you could find yourself going quicker and once you've got used to it, it will be a lot more comfortable too. Here you go, Paul. So let's bring back the new and improved pole. Looking great, brilliant transformation, but there's one final issue we need to address and that's your leg hair. So off you pop with this razor. 